the best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Well, good morning, everybody. We're in on a Monday morning. We've got quite a lot of plans to do today. I've just come into the cellar. I'm surprised how little beer we've got left because we had a massive delivery last week from Beer Metropolis. There was tons of it in here. Let me turn the light off and uh, go somewhere a little bit quieter and I'll tell you what the plans are today. So this morning, I must remind them as well to turn them bloody lights off. So this morning, we've got to go to uh, Dewsbury, which is uh, Huddersfield, Bradford Way, I think. Uh, there are all of the stainless steel tables and sinks that I actually won on a liquidation auction just last week. and. Uh, these are going to enable us to kit out the kitchen in the brew shed and also uh, put some more uh, professional looking stainless steel worktops in the brewery because at the minute I'm not too keen, I'm not too happy about everything that we've got in there, particularly like the old, uh, what would you call it, the old double sink that we've got which is just basically attached into timber work. Not really my kettle of fish, doesn't look right, it's not going to be 100% hygienic so that's something that we're going to have to work on, change out completely to some of these uh, brand spanking shiny, shiny stainless steel tables and sinks which uh, we're going to pick up today. So first things first, I'm just going to quickly assess some of the uh, jobs that Stuart has put my way over the weekend. He said there's a leak in the ladies toilets which I think one of the reasons why the hot water tap was actually turned off on the isolating valve underneath the sink. I turned it on because obviously people want hot water to wash their hands with. I imagine that it's just dodgy plumbing from the previous uh, tenant or perhaps previous uh, people who've worked for them, you know, plumbers, etc. So we'll have a look at that in a second downstairs. Uh, I'll just open up the messenger app now which will tell me exactly what I've got to look at. Oh. The toilet is blocked in the ladies as well. Yes. He's bought a plunger but he didn't want to do it while we were open in case something nasty came out. Not sure what that could be. Uh, there's a spotlight in the gents that's gone and the sink which we've already discussed. So I'll go downstairs, we'll quickly assess the situation on those few things and then we will jump in the van when Stuart gets here, he's going to do the banking, we'll jump in the van and we'll have a bit of a road trip to Dewsbury folks. And then later on this week, I'm going to sneeze, so later on this week we also need to get the vacant gesture and the uh, best bitter out of tanks which will then free up the uh, fermenters for me to do some more brewing this week probably brew day on Thursday, maybe Wednesday and uh, I'm gonna do a stout this week so we've got a stout on over the Christmas period and of course notwithstanding a few drinks for the brew tube boys when they arrive here on Saturday the 1st of December it's gonna be one hell of a ride
Look at this lot. We've got lights on everywhere. So, something that I'll have to point out. Right then. Go and inspect. Oh God. I'll turn the bloody lights. I turn the bloody lights off downstairs that have been left on by somebody else. And then uh, there's no lights in the bloody toilets. What's that all about, Lee? Like? Let's get in here. Toilet lights. Somebody's pressed that and broken it. Unbelievable. Light switch broken. Fucking twats. That's going in, book. There we go. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, what's wrong with it? Looks fine to me. Looks fine to me. Ugh. A false alarm there, but we do have a leak on the floor. Look at this. So what's going on under here? This is ridiculous. I'll use the camera as an inspection tool. You're going in, I'm not, you are. Let's have a look then. So just the viewfinder. So what have we got? Aha! I told you. From that ISO valve. Right, we figured that out then. From that isolation valve. That's something that I can repair. Pretty quickly actually. I might just need to run next door, grab some tools and get this done before Stuart comes back from the bank. I've got about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna attack this job because once we're open this evening, we can't really have a lot of water dripping out there, can we? All right, let's get to it. Oh, it's like a family reunion. Oh my God. Okay, so we've figured out, I think I've narrowed down what the problem is. What can only be described as the, the real, real amateur plumber who put this lot in. Obviously, I had no idea what he was doing. Well, maybe that's the problem. That just feels like it's spinning and spinning. If that's just spinning, and maybe the pipe on the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. It is. Right, found another problem with it. The fitting's actually rotated in the housing, meaning that the solder underneath here is not soldered. So we basically need to uh, just take this tap with us today. I'll take it into the shop. Got to remove the casing, remove all the inwards, and uh, resolder it, provided I can resolder it. Right, a bolt, a bolt, system a bolt, yeah. That needs to be next door. So we went all the way to, can't remember where it was now, Keeley? Near Wakefield, anyway. Um, picked up all this stainless steel tackle which we're about to unload. It was a bit of a, a weird environment with the auctioneers. Made it 
Well, there were no freebies, was there, but There were no freebies. They were watching you. So there was no camera either. I could have got some shots of the town, but you know, we were in and out, wanted to get back. I've got more pressing things to do than taking some scenic photos. So we're gonna unload whatever's on the van and you'll be able to see what we've got. from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. So we got a 110 transformer for the little router that uh, Rich gave me. And then in here, we've got some lovely looking half inch router bits. I wonder if they've been absolutely shagarooned or not. Uh, they're a little chowdered, but they will sharpen up. They will sharpen up, I'm sure. And then, yeah, another set of uh, Router bits in here, some real big boys. Check that bad boy out. It's the kind of thing that you break your router with, that. And then in here, this is where the money is actually. I didn't think these were this big. Check these out. Perform um, wood turning tools. Let's look at the size of them. Okay, it's like wielding my hammer in your hand, isn't it? Look at that. And then over here, we've got a Grundy bin, a tote bin. Put the rubbish in. It's actually aluminium, I thought it was stainless, you know. And then these are the two sinks. Two double sinks, that's one I'm gonna keep for the brewery, I think. That one's gonna go in the uh, kitchen. And then we've got on the back, a load of stainless steel racking and two more uh, mobile tables which will be perfect for prepping on plugging in anything that we need to plug in might even be able to get the griddle side by side on them and you know we'll play it by ear this one needs cleaning up it's greasy that one was for the deep fat fryer might be a little bit too small and then this one which i've got all the stuff on that i've just showed you has this handy little drainer with the pipe coming out the bottom to wherever you want it to go well believe it or not folks that's pretty much all i've got for you on this uh, monday supplement only a small one i don't think i've got much graft left in me today it's miserable outside i'm just going to put the kettle on sit in front of the uh, television with abby probably watch some cartoons nothing wrong with that is there anyway we'll see you tomorrow i've got loads of work to do at the pub and sort out all of that stainless we will see you then my lens is fogging up, look. Oh, I can feel welding sparks on that.